All right, let's fail to pay that rent. What's going on in your head? Oh, it's the... the yeah, we don't, we don't have the money. Well, let's see how much it is. Nah. It's cheap, but... Sheesh. Well, let's see. Monday, December 26th. Evening. Hey, Jill. Gil in the back sorting out the ingredients shipment. I've got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay? Bye. All of a sudden. What? Also, I'm sorry, the... The video will look a little different. I, for some reason, when I was um, recording the DirectX method, um, the video came a looks a little washed out. And now that I'm recording it just as a screen area, it's the proper colors. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, I'm not sure why it was inaccurate to begin with. At least that's what I noticed when I compared the two halves of that video where the thing crashed and I changed how I record. Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. Speaking of someone who's in charge and wants me to pet them. Hello. You, you, you could literally not be more in the way. I know. Okay, just, okay, hold on, hold on. I have to lock the keyboard. Um, I, honey, I can't see. Alt, oh, fuck. Shit. Okay, so the control button skips, and I have to press that to do the thing. Let me read. Oh, he said nothing. Parker, please. Please. Just lay down. Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Ah. Uh, who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. Oh, poor Will. Look at his face. Gil is best waifu. There's no Will. Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up! Who, me or <laughs> Ah! You go back to whatever you were doing. Alright. And you, stand by. Only if you pet me. Go! The fuck just happened? Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Val for Why don't you, Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know? So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Do you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. <laughs> Bartender to turn your bar. Ha ha ha. I like how juvenile and stupid her uh, distractedness is. Oh, right. I locked the keyboard so I can't use the thing. So Parker already got off the thing. You're a good boy. Yes. Bleeding Jane, don't you want something expensive? Yes, this is just the thing. Er, whatever. So tired of putting in an act. Care to explain? It's a long story, and honestly, I'd rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? That's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to raise suspicion. But you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? I mean, you might be right if you, if I were talking about hiding myself, but I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. Depending on how erratic my actions are, I'll become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... Huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just missed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Fuck. I can't, I can't just ask what the order was. I look very unprofessional. Yeah, just making the wrong thing is totally more professional. Spicy. I think the blue light is the most expensive one. 
I wish I knew this was going to be such like a ridiculously crushing financial thing. Like, holy crap. Aged rocks mixed. There you go. Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? No. What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Yes, yes it is. Hell, oh, what's toxic for us might might not be toxic for other creatures. That that one's true, but well, the way spicy works, it actually uses your um nosy receptors, I believe. Pain. It, it's it's pain. Um, other an there's animals that can't taste spice, but um, it's all just pain sensors. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually really weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with passion. Do you like it? Lots. But only in the regards, not in regards to painful spicy things, but also the way mild or polite spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. I rather like spicy things, though it, it kind of slows me down. You know? It's not a good quick food. I mean, I hope you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. Hmm? You put up me all this time without lashing out, and I thought I should apologize for my behavior. And thank you, thank you at that. Don't worry. I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, it was at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else violently lashed out at me yet. Make me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgio even your real name? It might be. It might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities in sordid pasts. Gil, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? Just rambling. Pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how'd you find this bar? I was avoiding some chaps and came to the Sally. Huh. Again. Again. My time here, I've heard avoided some people and ended up here enough times to make me believe. The original owner built this place just to be thinking about the runaway public. It made me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't mean people escaping in law, though. I've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. We've had some people shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Is this because salesman is more active predator? I don't know. Troublesome part of the city being right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm some sort of criminal though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Absinthe seems like it must be bitter, but I don't I don't want to fail a drink quarter. Um Grizzly Temple is twenty. Or two two. Yeah, I think that's our Yeah, that's our best one. So Pretty drink though. This works. Do you like coffee? What do you mean this works? I gave you exactly what you asked for. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That bandage girl came here last time. What about her? I feel like I've met her before. I've been thinking about it a lot, but I can't put my finger on it. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, thanks for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Ah. Ah. Look at that face. Look at it. <laughs> Here we are, another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch. No, order something expensive. How does boss's hair stay like that? 
How dare you be cheap? I'm gonna get evicted, you know. I'm gonna die or something. Oh, you can put in ice and age. With uh, A and S, do those. Um, Flancher vibe. You don't deserve optional booze aged, though. Here. Oh! What? What did I press? V! You look more like a festivist kind of guy! <laughs> he really is. This, he's, he's George. He, he looks like a festivist kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? <laughs> but yeah, the V button enables the um, text beeps. Well, Festivus is a celebration going against Capitalist Madness this Mega Christmas. No. No, I, I don't want that anymore. Okay, I'll refrain. What, what, why aren't these documented? There's no way to know what these are unless you just randomly press keyboard buttons. I guess maybe there's a manual online, but you gotta put that stuff in game. Eh, whatever. I can rant about it now. Um. Although, now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration, just the season. A season of consumerist craze. I can't do a George impression, so it's, it's staying, you know, artiste guy. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what's a video Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came that turbo, turbo mail, turbo mail. <laughs> Is that some red mail or red pill shit? He started the yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. <laughs> oh my god, that's way more awesome than red pill. <sighs> turbo mail. That can't be his ring name. It is really. Such a tacky name was accepted. His partner was Buster Master. His partner was Booster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Masks. Tacky names are not the problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed up as Santa every year. Oh, he's... I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. <laughs> Nega Santa. Mr. Eggman Nega from um, Sonic Rush. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I ever heard. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me the guy who managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail. Yup. Makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. Yeah, and Mega Christmas didn't sound like a joke. I keep wanting to interact with the background crap, but I can't. Whatever. This holiday is a joke. You're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? <laughs> Aw. No, I don't. No airing of grievances for us. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? <laughs> The kinds that's so lame and bland, they only talk to you about how they're better because they celebrate festivals. Like those jerks would only eat nuke and say they're better than anyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Give me a fringe viva. Sure. Wait, can you? Okay, now you can't access the log. I guess that'd be cheating. At least it's expensive ish. Well, yeah, that's pretty expensive. Only the piano butt face is like, more expensive. Um, aged. I'm supposed to see a visitor today, but I'm not sure when I'm going to see them. Because of the Fibonacci sequence strength, the Moai head. So, any issues with the city lately? It's the word on the street. Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynching of White Knight stopped. So there's that. Really? Something about the armor. Haven't gotten much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. 
That's good to hear. Any other details emerged about the attack yet? All records of whatever happened as that have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened, it's become even more of a mystery now. There's no way there wouldn't be like 10 people recording on their phones and like live streaming it to Periscope. I wonder if Sai plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Sai went there in the first place? It's kind of funny how basically all sci-fi didn't think that people would have personal computers that can do basically everything. I mean, it seems pretty freaking obvious in hindsight. I mean, the utility of having, like, everything in a thing in your pocket is obvious. And technology pretty much always got smaller, so... I mean, smartphones seem pretty inevitable. Anyway... Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey, bartender, are you okay? Sorry, got distracted. There's not lot to say, really. Just an odd, silly rumor in here and there. Like the vending machine's tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. Was that the writer of the last rain in the world was actually living here in the brain in a jar? <laughs> but those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold the one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see, none of that's true. <laughs> anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay, then. Oh. No way, he's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking a break? Let me know if someone comes in. Well, tune in next time for when we continue to fail to pay that ridiculous rent check. Holy crap.